Hello, 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 Gordon Gecko here for another episode of Glory of England save. We are in 2020 and we are about to start with our new stadium. The new season, we're still in ninth year after last year's, well, cruel and harsh end of the season when we lost the title in the last the title and the promotion in the last um, two league games and today we're gonna start as always with finances uh, they have been making some adjustments now mostly in terms of uh, wage budget the, the club continues to bleed money but some money for incoming costs is also being spent down so we are always close to the zero as you can see all over in the last five six seasons it has been like this um, again in terms of budget it has been decreased almost to half which is still okay because we were only spending half of the budget so we don't need much more it makes it a bit hard now for one or two guys to come in the team but We'll, we are leading with that at the moment, so no problem. So the stadium is now complete, and I will show it to you then. Uh, here in the club. Wait for this to open. So our new facilities are the Polter Park, 1.5 teams. There are actually other teams playing in this, this field. I don't know why, but okay. But as you see, uh, we have a new, the new stadium. We are deemed to finish first this league. Overall value is 70.57, so the objective will actually be to get in to get access to the eighth division. And for that, we made some changes in the club. Um, let me just go on transfer history. So a lot of players left. These are mostly under 21s. Probably the only guy that um, I'm missing is Nathan Brown, the goalkeeper that left and I didn't want to. I don't know why this happened here. That I just hired Ben Nichols and he was loaned out to Falmouth. What happened here? Is he supposed to be playing for us? Yeah, whatever. So, we just hired a couple of new guys. Let's start with Louis Lag. These are almost all defenders. So that's the area we are, we are looking at. Another lone player, almost in the defensive case, must ask you for mid to the center. I'll try to maintain the, the same squad as last time. I think with a bit more effort, we can actually win this title. A defender last, Albert Leach. Also, Ryan Leak, um, a defender center, comes from uh, Bunmouth, where he had no chances, also played at the beginning, or had, didn't play any game, but was from Wolves. And James Scotty also on a loan from Tolkoy, uh, also from the center. Then Ben Nichols, that's the only guy that I spent money on, mid for the left. I don't know if he's at, at Moen and Falmouth. I, I don't understand how this happened, but okay. Let me just go. Okay, training wise and in terms of staff, I maintain everything. I'm going to start. With the same tactic as last time, the 4 4 2. Uh, my counter, standard. Uh, we have objectives to win promotion this year. Qualify for the first round here on the FA Cup, reach the fourth round and win the Little Leaps Cup. Uh, once again, this team very hard objectives to get. Maybe winning the league. Is a fair one. Uh, winning the cup, 
the county cup that seems a bit too harsh. Anyway, we started well in the preseason with wins against Dilford, of course against the under 21s in the Jew against Newport. Against Falmouth, we took a 5 0 defeat. And Falmouth is a team that is, well, they're in the level below us. Or, yeah, they're in the same level as us at the moment. So that's bad. And then against Aston Villa, under 21s, a 3 0, which was an okay game. We played better than that. So he once again, I'm not quite sure what I haven't. Not really sure why he was loaned out to Falmouth. He came from Falmouth, but I needed him for my team. Not really sure. Okay. Doesn't really matter for now. I'll take care about that later. Let's just look into the Tool Station Premier. Um, in the season preview, we're going to finish first by a long margin. Uh, Staple, Halo, and Bristol MF are big ones, and here under our district teams. Okay, so the first game today of the first league will be against Oddown. Oddown was a team that was uh, in the first place last year. Uh, let's see here for last year stages. Last year they were fifth. So They'll be a hard team to beat. To beat. So let's see. But we need to start quick, and we need to start with goals, and we need to start winning games right from the start if we are to actually win this race, which we need to. Do. We need to do this. Okay, everyone's warming up. Okay, so I'm actually, I just came during the night from uh, South Africa, back to Munich. Um, I will spend here the next three days of the weekend, plus one day of half rest, half work. And then I'm flying out on Tuesday again, on a 19-hour flight uh, to Mexico City with a stopover in Toronto. Yeah. You, you know, people that fly much, we are forced for miles. And even if I could have flown with uh, one or two companies from one world in the more direct fashion, since I'm miles and more, I had to fly, or I chose to fly Air Canada, uh, which comes for six more hours. and two long flights and actually just flying directly from Europe there. And we score Millbrook. First one, Rio Josephs. He didn't score many last season, so it's a good start for our team. Also this came this came home, first time in the new stadium in the official game. But like I was telling you, I will be in Mexico City for three, four days, yeah, three days. And then I'm flying to the north of Mexico where close to the US border where one of my best friends is getting married. So after that I'll go back to Mexico City or for just one day I'll catch the flight back and thank God the flight back is as we score the second one. Although we have some injured players still be there. That's seriously injured. I think he's recovering. But he was the one scoring the goal, so yeah. Um, and then I'm going home to Lisbon. Um, after two days here back in Germany, I'll go home to Lisbon. And after that, I have another audit in the UK. Um, and the place close to Bath. Okay. 
what is happening here. Why can't I see anything? Sorry about this. It just screen resolution is not adapting to my change of screens. Now it is. I just needed to change. He was Ryan Leak will be playing for the first time. I don't think it will be a problem since we are well dominating this game. I think Tom Mullins will also come out now. Also cute. Oops. Monk there, with me without the Powin, and let's just keep it like this for now, we'll just wait a few more minutes, let's see if we can take another, if we can make another deal. Ask you, Billingsley, Billingsley, I want more goals from him this season, also from Yassi, that is starting to have like 20 years old now, and he scores, two years in the club now. He's a great hope for this, this club, so I hope to see better performances from him last season. Like, just scoring this goal was already a good sign that he will improve his form from last season. I said, we are doing well at the moment. I think it's time for the last substitution there. It will be in. It's a first, first victory. Uh, with eight minutes to go, I don't think there will be any bumps now on the road. Maybe we can still make the fourth one, I'll be, although that would be undeserved. It's a foul, and we got a penalty, so probably we're going to take this one by four goals to nil. Let's just see Monk and he misses. They better miss on this game than missing on the important ones that you really need to score the penalty. So 3-0 is a good result. We were dominating in all phases of the game, in all parts. So I'm happy with this first performance. I just keep hope this that will keep up with the uh, with this level. Okay, that's the next one. Yeah, sure. So we are first in the league. Actually, the biggest win was ours, three 0 But so let's let's just wrap it up here. Um, of course, the next video that I will do will be around the 10th game of the league or somewhere around the cup part. And until then, I hope I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, and thank and sorry for not updating as much as possible. It will be more like here somewhere, but it's been crazy uh, with a lot of traveling and a lot of work. So thank you very much for watching. This was Gordon Gecko. Bye.